China has many different landscapes, including mountains, high plateaus, sandy deserts, and dense forests. One third of China's land area is made up of mountains, and the tallest mountain in the world, Mount Everest, sits on the border between China and Nepal, which means that part of the Himalayan mountain range also borders China. Pretty cool, huh? China also has thousands of rivers. The Yangtze and the Yellow Rivers are the most well-known, and at 3,915 miles in length, the Yangtze River is the third largest river in the world. China divides its land into 33 administrative units. These units include 22 provinces, 5 self-governed regions, 4 municipalities, which are basically like big cities, and 2 special administrative regions, Hong Kong and Macau. Though once under Chinese control, the island of Taiwan has been under separate leadership since 1949. China's government is vastly different from the democratic governments of other Western countries. It is an authoritarian, communist state ruled by a powerful central government, which means that there is only one political party and no elections. Because of this system, people in China do not have the same level of personal freedom as people do in the West. Beijing, also known as Peking, is the capital of China. It is the economic, cultural, and communication center of the country. The city of Shanghai is the center of industry, and the leading commercial center and port is located in the city of Hong Kong. The People's Republic of China also has the second largest economy in the world, and is the largest supplier of imports to the United States. A huge workforce and lots of natural resources have driven economic change in the country and helped it to thrive. Did you know that China is home to one of the world's oldest civilizations? It's true. Chinese history is divided into periods of time called dynasties. The first empire was called the Xia Dynasty, which began over 4,000 years ago in 2070 BC. Another notable dynasty is the Qin Dynasty, which began all the way back in 221 BC. The Great Wall of China was built during this time, and advanced technology in mathematics and infrastructure were also developed. The last emperor was overthrown in 1912, and China became a republic. This republic was then overthrown in 1949 by the current communist government following a civil war. For centuries, China was way more advanced than most other countries in the areas of science, technology, astronomy, and math. The Chinese were also the first to use silk, jade, bronze, wood, and paper to create art. Important inventions that were developed in China over time include paper, the magnet compass, printing, porcelain, silk, and gunpowder, among many other things. Here's a fascinating fact. Many of China's modern philosophies and beliefs are based on the teachings of a government official who lived almost 3,000 years ago, named Guangzi. You may know him as Confucius. Confucius taught people about the value of things like morality, kindness, and education. Talk about a cool history. Today, you can view and visit some of China's ancient places. You can see landmarks like the Great Wall of China, which still survives as the longest wall in the world. Or, you can visit the site of the Terracotta Army, a series of statues that represent Chinese warriors, which was buried underground for over 2,000 years. The Forbidden City 
is also a fascinating place. The Imperial Palace was home to 24 of China's emperors and still stands today. This palace was built during the Ming Dynasty, around the year 1420 AD. It is called the Forbidden City because ordinary people were not allowed to enter. Now that is an interesting fact you can share with your friends. China is also home to the giant panda, which is an endangered species. Only about 2,000 pandas are alive today. Chinese alligators, snow leopards, and red pandas, also called China home.